folks the big question that I had before I bought this truck that nobody could answer. There were no videos. Um, so I was just going into it. Uh, how much death fluid does the 2019 F750 uh, with a 6.7 liter power stroke engine burn through? Um, when we got this truck from the dealer, you know, it had, I think, 600 miles on it and uh, I don't think that they topped the death fluid tank out it was full uh, when we got it and now it's got 3290 miles 3290 miles and I just filled it up for the first time uh, it was at about a quarter tank on the death fluid and it burned 4.867 gallons of the diesel exhaust fluid and it cost me $14.11 so that puts uh, us at ease as business owners that the death fluid as far as in this truck um, and I'll get into how hard it works you know, here in a minute um, from a money standpoint, it really doesn't make a big difference. It's a brand new truck, so uh, we had 1,800 miles on it. We had it for a code, and from the factory, there's a little module on the inside of the diesel exhaust fluid tank um, that just wasn't working right. So we had to take it in. It was a little aggravating. They swapped that module out, and it hasn't given any trouble since. Um, it's went through several of the regeneration cycles where it, you know, heats that filter up and burns the soot out of it, essentially. And, uh, you know, again, 3,200 miles. Uh, this truck works hard. You know, I load it down with a trailer and a 20, over 20,000 pound excavator regularly. Uh, we're in the mountains of North Carolina, so we're either going uphill or downhill constantly, all the time. So it's either working hard or coasting, more, more or less. You know, we don't have a whole lot of time when we're just running interstates. We're usually on back roads. And uh, so for somebody out there that says, well, you don't burn through a lot of death fluid, you're not working the truck very hard. Well, I can assure you that it does work hard for the size of the truck it is and the loads it's rated for. With the excavator, the truck, and the trailer, I think we're grossing at about 44,000 pounds. Uh, the truck pulls it good. Um, I keep kind of a check in the middle note. You know, it's got a little gauge that tells me how full the exhaust filter is and it takes some time for it to fill up before it goes through a cycle to clean itself and uh, you know as far as whether or not to buy this particular truck because it has the death fluid system or not I don't think it is a huge factor certainly not money wise now as the truck gets older you know it's going to be more components more parts that are going to wear go bad tear up so that's something to keep in mind um, for anybody that's in business and is planning on staying in business if it's in your budget your operating expenses operating budget i think the way trucks are now you're better off to get a truck like this and keep it new as soon as your warranty runs out trade that sucker up you know or sell it off and put the money into another brand new truck. That way, I mean, you're, you got so many sensors and electronics on these trucks, they're not mechanical anymore. You know, the old mechanical trucks, they either ran or they didn't. I mean, that was pretty much it. You know, you get fuel and air in them, they go boom, you go down the road. Um, so yeah, now we've still got Wilbur, the mid eighties truck, but uh, this video is, I'm gonna try to stick by the deaf subject. Uh, I hated the idea of it, and I just thought, well, there's just something else to tear up, and, you know, I try to be a positive person, I try to think about everything in a positive way, and uh, they're just trying to help the environment, you know, no matter how you want to look at it, and 
keep the air clean for our kids and grandkids. So uh, I think it best that we just accept it. You know, I think that fluid's around to stay, at least for a little while. And uh, let's just try to look at it as a good thing and move on. So hopefully I've answered some questions. And if you're interested in looking at one of these trucks, you know, hopefully I've answered the, the unknown death fluid consumption uh, question. If I haven't touched on something, you know, drop it down in the comments. Uh, hopefully, you know, you guys are liking these videos and hopefully they're more helpful than entertaining. And uh, again, you know, I hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. And we'll see you on the next one.